This is Watcher 3 to Cypher 9. Sorry to cut your leave short, sir, but we need you. Terrorist mop-up is officially over, and the search for Lord Jadis is on hold. The war just took top priority. I was starting to wonder if I'd been permanently reassigned. No, sir. Just an emergency measure. You're being recalled to headquarters. Keep will brief you on your next mission. Watcher 3 out. Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeon, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeon has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. The sooner we can stop pulling punches, the sooner the Republic will fall. The Republic is stronger than you think. Otherwise, the Emperor would never have negotiated peace. But I may have found an opportunity that will have the Council and the Emperor ready to act. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. I've never heard of Karist is gone. Yes, even as the Republic writes songs about him, we would just as soon forget he exists. General Gon operates from the shadows, a phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. What is this meeting about? He maintains the fringe systems by anticipating our moves. These traitors supply his information. Anyone meeting with General Gon is guilty of treason and must be eradicated. We will not appear weak on this. I will punish all who are aligned with him. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. That's how I was trained. But I want to do things differently. Show respect and honor my commands. But you can look me in the eye. Oh, I only wish you'd found me sooner. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. Be sure your impulses align with my needs, and you'll find that the filters and chains that have bound you will be removed. Consider me properly motivated, Master. Please, may I ask you something? You need not be cautious with me, Jasa. Your availability is a gift. It's about the Twi'lek, Vet. Can she be trusted? She seems rather soft. Vet lacks the will and the ability to resist. She complains, but does as she's told. If you're comfortable with her, then I am as well. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. You wanted to talk? Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Nar Shaddaa with the old gang. When I saw a taunt flirting with you, I don't know, it, it was... weird. Don't worry. No other Twi'lek in the galaxy can turn my head like you do. I don't get it. Really? But I'm nothing special. I'm just... a normal girl. You know what? Don't answer that. You know, stand-in family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again, it just made me miss my mom and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? Sometimes it helps to just talk about it. I guess someday I'll have to do something more than talk, I suppose. Right now I just think, what would Tiva be like today? The last time I saw my sister she was 10, 12. 
Okay, enough of that. Moving along. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Aren't you supposed to run this ship, Captain? And the crew? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Voleron, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. That's relentless. Once she gloms onto something, she doesn't let go. Best if you just tell her the story. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. Darth Alaton, I believe we spoke once before. I hope you've settled into your new role. Your brief career has been of great interest to me. And with Darth Zash dead, I think it's time we finally met. If you will be taking up Zash's work, we have much to discuss. Meet me at the tomb of Darth Andrew, outside Kaas City. I look forward to finally meeting you in person, my lord. The feeling is mutual. Something about that Thanaton guy rubs me wrong. Your pirate friend has good instincts. Thanaton had me confined to Brom and Kaas when we killed Scotia. And he'd have done worse if he had proof. He's not to be trifled with. Be careful. Looks like we've got a call coming in, Captain. Let me put it through. Captain, I heard about your fantastic success with Noctrain. I always thought his fortune was a myth. Darmus Polleran, right? From Coruscant. What's this about? I'm touched to remember. You've come so far since then, with very little to work with. I have a business proposition for you, but I'd rather discuss it face to face. Come to Port Nowhere, Captain. A floating cantina, not far from you. I'll send the specs. Seems like a safe location, Captain. But we need to be careful. The Imperials are getting more gutsy. There's nowhere in Republic space that's safe anymore. If you wanted safe, you picked the wrong man, sweetheart. If I wanted safe, nice, presentable at social functions, not held in smoke-filled cantinas. Hey, I like smoke-filled cantinas. I'm serious. I caught a signature when we were on Nar Shada that looked like the Void Wolf. Someone I should know about? The man's a monster. Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill. Former slaver, scourge of the Outer Rim and all-round charmer. My father always kept a close eye on him. The Void Wolf's got delusions of taking over the Underworld, handing it to the Empire wrapped in ribbon. Then let's hit Port Nowhere fast and see if we can get out of his way. Something's on your mind. What is it? It can't be easy to leave behind everyone you knew. Is there any chance you could return to them someday? What makes you think working as a mercenary is your best fate? I don't know about the Republic, but the Empire is never going to take me down. We'll spend our lives making those imps miserable. 
Wichovi, ¿qué es acá, Paxi, Kayaka, Zambaleda, Ate, Pachi, Wicho, Peseo, Saka, Tota, Arcaroso? Thanks for letting me stay on with your crew, Captain. I plan to be a very generous queen to all my friends. You could be generous right now. Move into my quarters. They're cozy. A man who describes his quarters as cozy really means he leaves dirty clothes on the floor. Every captain needs a good first mate. Corso doesn't know what it takes to run a starship. But I do. Considering the light years you've been racking up, I suggest a hyperdrive overhaul and a sublight engine tune-up. Which do you want first? I didn't hire you to make ship repairs. I just need someone to clean the refresher. So we're clear. I charge extra to clean up after a Wookiee. I love Bodar, but he sheds. A lot. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I'm afraid your leave will have to be cut short. A critical situation has just been brought to High Command's attention. Havoc Squad is needed immediately. Report to my office on Coruscant right away. We'll discuss things further when you arrive. Garza out. Great. If High Command is worked up, this can't be good. Let's move out, people. Word of your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Whatever the order requires, I stand ready. Excellent. I knew we could rely on you. The conference is being held on Tython at the Temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also another matter we should talk of in person. They need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. They've certainly piqued my interest. I'd hope not. But as such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor, this is so exciting. Oh, and no time to recompile my hair. You've entered Mandalorian controlled space. Vacate the sector before we use you for target practice. You have two minutes. Lek told me my presence was requested. I'm the victor of the Great Hunt, here to see Mandalore. Apologies, Champion. I'll clear you for landing. Mandalore's waiting. This way. Mandalore, your champion presents himself. Glad a little war wasn't enough to keep you from meeting me, Champion. I like a man who's not afraid to get his knuckles bloody. Welcome aboard the Spirit of Vengeance, both of you. You wanted to see me about something? I've got a lot to thank you for. Shoring up that secret auction, avenging Hedersung, stopping that arrogant snot Terrorblood. You had a good slog getting here. Says a lot that you aced Terrorblood without stooping to his level. A damn lot. You brought me all this way to talk about Terrorblood? You're here. Because you won the Great Hunt. The Great Hunt isn't held for the sake of sport. It's meant to find the best the galaxy has to offer, usually to handle a task vital to the Mendoid. I have one more thing to ask of you before I know you are the one for it. How did I know this wasn't just a social call? Thought I'd bore you with tales of my glorious youth? Mandalorians prefer to inspire tales, not tell them. There is a cavern in the deep jungles of Dromund Kaz. Unnatural place, filled with all kind of... abominations. There's something down there nobody's laid eyes on and lived to brag about it. I want you... to kill it. I'll head to Dromund Kaz now. My clans send their most promising warriors to bloody themselves on the beasts in the cavern. Head to their camp at these coordinates. We'll speak again when you've brought me a suitable trophy. As if drumming cost didn't already give me the creeps. Come on, let's go show this thing how scary you can be. I've been thinking it over, and I see a lot of room for improvement maximizing your profits. Take catching me, for example. Sure, you got a nice bounty from the Great Hunt, but why stop there? You just need to use a little imagination. And what did your imagination come up with? 
A few words in the right ears and you could make a lot of money on poor Tiresias' remains. If you don't mind double-crossing crime lords. Offer the body, see who bites, rob them blind. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. Drum up some interest. If the payoff is worth the risk, I'm in. See, that's the best part about this little partnership. The scams are a lot less risky when you know you can vaporize anyone in the room. Thank you for meeting me here. Respect for her superiors is the mark of a good Sith. Of course, Zash would have disagreed, did disagree with me passionately on that point. But then, Zash never respected tradition. It's wise to respect your superiors. At least until you're powerful enough to kill them. Wise answer. You are not like your master. Tradition. Principles. History. The threads that compose our society. Zash refused to acknowledge how one little tug could ruin the whole tapestry. Your work was sloppy, brazen even, but the news of her murder was sweet. I would hate for my actions to disappoint you. I only hope the next time you'll be a little less obvious. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about you, not Zash. You have demonstrated remarkable ability. Though I am a stricter master than Zash, I think you'll find that to loyal followers of our traditions, I am not ungenerous. So, if I agree to your every whim, you might not kill me. Suspicion can be a form of wisdom, as long as it doesn't lead to disrespect. Now, I wish to see how you work. This tomb belonged to Darth Andrew, Sith scholar and alchemist. I'm interested in his last writings, which were buried with him. Recover them for me, and we will discuss your place in my power structure. Venom-toothed vipers always slithering, slithering. Up the walls, along the floors. Trespasser, trespasser. You'll not have it. It's mine. It's the last place in the galaxy that's mine. Darth Andrew, I presume. Don't mock me, my apprentice. You know me. You killed me. The poison still fresh in my body. You defile my tomb. You and your brother both. The venom may have burned away my sight, but I know you. Don't make my mistake. Strangle your children at birth. I'm sorry your offspring murdered you. But strangling all children may not be the solution. Solution? Death is the only solution for vipers like you. Did you have a scheme in mind? Listen, flesh of my flesh. I have felt something in you since the day we met. You have a rare pull among ghosts. It's a source of great power, but it has destroyed many a Sith. It's your only chance against Thanaton. What do you mean I have a pull on the dead? They sense you from far away as I do. And you rouse strong emotions in them, as with this ghost. In my time, there were mystical movements among the Sith that sought to communicate with ghosts and harness their power. A Sith named Urgast was said to devour ghosts the way your Dashar devours Force users. His knowledge was buried with him near the Dark Temple. Seek this knowledge. What if I can't learn this ritual? You are a lord of the Sith. Use the resources at your disposal. Don't make me remind you again that you are the last hope of our lineage. 
You must augment your power before you face Thanaton. I will not have the strength to defend you again. Cypher 9, come in. I was just finishing the personnel security updates. Outside operations are complete. Reporting for duty. Then you'll be reporting to me. After Darth Jadis's defeat and escape, there was a great deal of chaos. The Dark Council decided to make changes. My predecessor was elevated to Minister of Intelligence. That makes me the new Keeper of Operations Division. That's quite a promotion. Shall we celebrate? I owe this to you. But with the promotion come certain responsibilities. I'm mounting an operation against the Republic's Strategic Information Service. Our concern is this man, Arden Koth. SIS for nearly a decade, responsible for 16 covert projects in the Mid-Rim. The best spy master our enemies have. I've run into the Republic a lot lately, but uh, no espionage presence. The SIS is our smaller, more flexible counterpart, supported by military and Jedi reserves. Arden Koth's division recently received a classified sanction from the Republic Senate. Complete autonomy. No restrictions on their activities. The Republic believes Arden Koth can win the war. We need to know what he has planned. For the Republic to give so much power to one man surprises me. In public, they keep to their principles. In private, they're getting desperate. Imperial intelligence has leaked documents to the SIS suggesting that one of our trustworthy agents is traumatized. At the same time, we sent anonymous messages to Arden Koth's team from an inside source. They now believe a cipher is ready to turn. I want you to make contact with the SIS and offer to be their spy inside the Empire. I've been a pirate and a terrorist. I can be a traitor too. Your objective is to earn their confidence, uncover their plan, and eliminate Arden Koth himself. This is a long-term, deep cover mission. I should warn you, this sort of work can be psychologically taxing. You will be isolated. Even most intelligence personnel won't know the truth. I can handle the pressure. Just remember whose side I'm really on. We've set up a meet with one of Arden Koth's men. You leave Fenar Shadar within the hour. Bury your loyalties for this one, Cypher. You'll know when the time comes to strike. Dismissed. Nar Shada again. Casinos, death sticks, and head games with Watcher X. Think selling out to the Republic will be more fun? We get to lie to a whole new group of people? You know it. Don't forget to squeeze them for all they're worth. You are the conscience of our team, as always, Cleo. For what it's worth, Cypher. We have our own doubts about this mission. But whatever happens, our loyalty is to you. Anything in particular you find troubling? Thought and action are the same in the nest. There's no concept for pretending to betray. Meeting with the SIS guy goes down on the promenade. You bring the charm, I'll bring the detonite. of the Sith, keeper of his knowledge. Who stands before me, and what do you wish to learn? Teach me the ritual that allows me to devour the dead. There is no such ritual. The dead cannot be consumed. But ghosts may be bound, and their strength borrowed for a time. You must pull on the tether that connects life and death. You must learn to bind both sides of the Force, life and death, in what is known as the Force Walk. I will do my best, if you will teach me. Know to the bones that lay around you. Not everyone is able to master the ritual of Force Walking. But if you are willing, 
Drink from the cup before me. It is poison, but it will not kill you. Have you drunk? Good. The poison will take effect quickly. Then you may learn the ritual of the Force Walk. you are unconscious, we may begin. The ritual has two parts. First is the pacification. An angry ghost cannot be tethered. The second part is the binding. A willing ghost is easier to bind, but by leaving the ghost its will, you draw less of its power. A pact may be formed to bind the ghost willingly, sealed with blood. Or the ritual and binding may be performed. Goom, you're a quick learner. It's been a long time since a creature of such promise has entered my tomb. Who are you? I'm Urgast, Lord of the Sith. You didn't think I'd let this ritual go so easily. This is the test. Bind me, and you go free. I'll walk with you a time and see the Empire once more. Fail, and I kill you. And don't bother trying to make a deal with me. I'll not go willingly. You have passed the final test. I am now your slave, and my power is yours. I am bound to your life, and you to my death. Use my strength to shield yourself against your foes. Scanning facial features and matching to identifiable records. Stand by. Identity confirmed. You are the Jedi Knight who defeated Darth Angrel and saved multiple Republic worlds. Opening hollow channel to Republic Fleet Admiral Jedi Master Oteg. Stand by. Channel open. Hello. My name is Oteg. I serve the Jedi Order and lead the Republic's first expeditionary fleet. I need your help. I didn't know you could be a Fleet Admiral and Jedi Master at the same time. I've had many titles in my lifetime. I prefer being called Oteg. <laughs> it's shorter. I've received intelligence that the Empire has a secret prison inside the Maelstrom Nebula. It's a dangerous region, impossible to safely navigate. A Jedi prisoner possessing vital information is held captive there. I need your help to navigate the Maelstrom Nebula and free him. You can tell me all the details in person. Give me your coordinates and I'll meet you there. I'm aboard the First Expeditionary Fleet's command ship, the Dreadnought Telos. Transmitting coordinates now, and please keep them to yourself. Oh, take out. Welcome, my friend. I appreciate you coming all this way. Oh, do forgive me for not shaking hands. My hospitality exceeds my reach. <laughs> Before we begin, I'll ask that you keep an open mind to what you're about to hear. The source of my information is, um, unconventional. 
a Jedi is prepared to accept help from any source. Such wisdom in one so young. Well, Master Satil's faith is well placed. As a Jedi, you are already attuned to the Force. But you must deepen your connection to see as I do. Concentrate with me. Focus your mind. Feel the Force around us. Hear its echoes. Am I listening for anything particular? A voice that seeks to be heard. It was silenced long ago. But now, it returns. She is here. A Jedi without physical form. Her body is long dead, but her wisdom, her essence lives on the dead shouldn't be able to speak much less appear and yet she does her death must have been a terrible thing the darkness will consume all it touches stars will burn black ashes raining on lifeless worlds everything ends the prisoner holds the darkness at bay Lost inside it for three hundred years, his strength will fail. Then, he will become the darkness. The prisoner has been fighting the Empire for centuries? How is he still alive? The bond weakens, my friend. I'll take things from here. She's told me many things, revealed the existence of an Imperial prison in the constantly shifting Maelstrom Nebula, and a way to get there. The only way to navigate the Maelstrom is using a Gree computer hidden at an Imperial fortress. We need that computer to free the Jedi prisoner. I'm a Jedi. This is what we're here for. The fortress we're invading is on the planet Taral V, enemy territory protected by Imperial warships. Too many to fight. But we have a captured Imperial shuttle that can sneak past the sentries. It's waiting for you in the hangar. You can fill me in on the rest while we travel. There's no time to waste. Our fleet will hide at the system's edge, so I can monitor your mission and guide you. If something goes wrong, we'll come running. Now go to the shuttle, my friend, and may the Force be with you. think you're just another shuttle bringing supplies and transmitting coordinates to an Imperial security outpost. Take control there and contact me from the fortress's network. We'll handle the rest. There's an Imperial patrol up ahead. Discourage them from warning the outpost. You're almost to the security outpost. I'll stop chattering so you can focus on taking control and accessing their network. Ripper! Get him, boy! I've seen Ugnots put up a better fight! Don't take prisoners here! Go with all you've got! Outstanding. You've given us access to the Empire's communications. Are you there, my friend? I read you. Go ahead. 
our data slices are quietly shutting down the Empire security grid. The enemy's in for an unpleasant surprise. Time for subtlety is almost over. Make your way carefully to the fortress, but once you arrive, strike quickly and hard. There is no pleasant way to make a frontal assault on an Imperial fortress. Normally, I'd advise you to minimize the casualties, but our objective is too important. I'm sending coordinates to the fortress. The Grey computer is amazingly compact. You'll have no trouble carrying it out. I'll keep quiet from here on, unless it's an emergency. Go oh, take out. A rain of fire is coming. The scarred man's hatred burns everything. You have a debt to settle. It will be paid in blood. Good and evil will both die in flames. You, on my doorstep, fortune has always favored me. You've been busy since our last meeting. Saved Coruscant, Titan. Pity about Euphrates, but uh, you can't win them all. Sadly, your victories end here. My fleet is about to bombard your position from orbit. This place is designed to withstand a lot of firepower. The fortress shields have been deactivated. You're standing in a tomb. And I'm burying you in it. It's been a pleasure catching up, but... You won't escape this time. Zoltek, do you read me? I monitored that transmission. My fleet is moving to intercept the bombardment. I'll do my best to keep the Grand Moth busy, but you need to hurry. Find that green computer and get out of there! Huh? Republic Butchers, you've invaded a sovereign Imperial world, slaughtered dozens of innocents to what? Steal our research? This facility is on a mission of peace. We're charting the Maelstrom Nebula for the good of all. Spare me your lies. The Empire has a prison inside the Maelstrom Nebula. A Jedi Master is held captive there. I have nothing to do with that, and the Empire has every right to imprison anyone who threatens its security. When the rest of the galaxy hears of this unprovoked assault, the Republic's evil will finally be exposed. It will surprise no one when the Jedi are revealed as warmongers. All you've ever sought is my culture's extermination. Your Empire started this war. Before that, it was the Sith who tried to enslave the Jedi. We take no pleasure in killing, but we do what we must to protect the Republic. Spare me your platitudes. I see you for what you are. A murderer. You're condemning hundreds of civilian science vessels exploring the Maelstrom Nebula. Electromagnetic radiation alters the safe navigation routes every moment. Without precise and timely coordinates from the Gree computer, thousands of good people, innocent scientists, will be trapped there forever. The Republic doesn't leave civilians to die. Transmit fresh coordinates to your science vessels and order them home. Then, the computer's ours. But our research! All that dangerous exploration will have been for nothing without a complete map! Transmitting the coordinates now. The computer is yours. I hope it breaks the first time you use it. It's taking heavy losses and the fortress defenses are crumbling. There's no more time. Take the computer to the fortress shuttle bay. You can fly out in one of their ships. We'll rendezvous in Republic space. Now, go! Cut your escape awfully close. Grand Moff Gilran destroyed the fortress just moments after you left. We suffered heavy losses at Tural 5. The Dantooine, the Sirocco. More starfighters than I care to count. But there's no time to mourn the dead. We must strike the Empire's prison before the enemy bolsters its defense. Down on Tural 5, your Jedi friend sent warnings. She didn't appear, but it was definitely her voice. Good. She's a powerful ally, and her counsel is useful. Always listen. 
My technicians have plugged the Gree computer into the Telos' hyperdrive. We're already calculating a safe route to Maelstrom Prison. When we arrive, I need my best people leading the raid. You're the Jedi prisoner's only hope of escaping alive. Do we have a plan to free the rest of the captives? We're not just leaving them there, are we? The facility was specifically built for the Jedi prisoner. The good news is you should only have to break open one cell. This mission will cost more lives before it's done, but it's a necessary sacrifice. The Jedi prisoner can end this war, save countless worlds. We'll be jumping to hyperspace soon, head for the shuttle bays. Be ready to launch on my signal. May the Force be with you. Lieutenant, welcome. Stand at ease. We have a lot to discuss, and not much time to do it in. First, for your courageous actions against superior enemy forces, you are being awarded the Republic Mark of Victory. In addition, due to your exemplary leadership under the most dire of circumstances, you are hereby promoted to the rank of Captain, effective immediately. Congratulations. Thank you very much, General. You've more than earned it. I've called the other members of Havoc Squad here so you can designate one of them as your executive officer. Your XO will serve you as second in command and be promoted to the rank of lieutenant. As droids cannot hold rank, your choice is between Sergeants Jorgen and Dorn. Let's start with you, Jorgen. Why should I give you this promotion? Are you serious? I was lieutenant when you met me. I was an operations officer on Ord Mantell for more than three years. If Tavis hadn't left the lazy jerks upstairs hungry for a scapegoat, I'd still be a lieutenant. Besides, you've seen my results in the field. I'm obviously the most qualified for executive officer. Sergeant Dorn has done a lot for this squad, Jorgen. Yes, she's a great medic. And she knows the regs, but she doesn't have the training or the experience that I have, sir. Thank you for hearing me out, sir. Tell me what makes you the best choice for the job. I believe my service record speaks for itself, sir. In spite of my short time in the Republic Army, I have received multiple commendations and glowing performance reviews. As you've seen firsthand, I carry out my duties professionally and precisely at all times. Finally, I have extensive personal knowledge of the tactics and training of our enemy, more so perhaps than any other soldier in the Republic. Sergeant Jorgen already has a lot of command experience. Yes, sir. But I think you'll agree that Sergeant Jorgen's combative demeanor is not a recommended quality for a position of authority. Thank you for allowing me to speak, sir. Eric Jorgen, you are hereby promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Finally back where I started. Thanks, Captain. Now, let's discuss the reasons you were called here. An SIS agent working undercover in the Imperial military has made a critical discovery. The Empire is constructing an experimental new superweapon, codename Gauntlet. How dangerous is this thing, General? We're short on details, unfortunately. The agent is in too deep to risk transmitting any further information. Our only option is a rapid extraction. That's where Havoc comes in. We'll pull the agent out immediately, General. The extraction will take place on Tatooine. An SIS agent will meet you there with the full details of the operation. Failure is not an option, Captain. We have to learn what the gauntlet is and what it's capable of, no matter the cost. Dismissed. Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. I take it you're seeking my services. Yes, but I also need your discretion. You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. The Republic has survived intact for thousands of years. What has changed? The threat of the Empire has strained us all. 
dwindling resources, attacks, trade being lost. It's taken a toll. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. I refuse to believe there's no solution to this. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, Yours was the first name they suggested. What sort of problems would I be solving? Whatever the Rift Alliance needs. Prove the Republic's worth to them. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your patience, your compassion and wisdom show that you merit the rank. Will you accept and become the Order's newest Jedi Master? How could I refuse such an honor? Neil, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy, before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic, as the Force guides you. Rise. And may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. You've given me an example to live up to, Master Seo. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. I'll head to the Fortitude immediately. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. <laughs>